Right now, let's bring in Democratic strategist Chris Kofinas. Thanks for your time tonight, Chris. Thanks, Lawrence. Chris, $100 billion for ongoing operations in Afghanistan and Iraq, $23 billion for their equipment, including mine-resistant vehicles, $30 billion for their health care, and a 3.4% pay raise. All but three Republican uh, senators vote against this, against this for our troops, openly admitting that it's just a tactic to slow down health care reform. Can they get away with votes like that? Uh, I, don't, I don't think they're going to get away with that. I mean, this has to be, I think, one of the most disgusting, politically brazen uh, ploys I've seen in a long time. And what was the purpose? The purpose was to slow down health care. I mean, the, the tragic thing here is it, this again exposes the, the really difficult political environment the White House and Congress has been operating, in particular, you know, the Democratic leadership. I mean, forget it, uh, put, you know, put aside just the, the internal Democratic Party difficulties. You have a Republican Party that does not have any intention nor any desire to actually debate health care reform. What they have exposed in that attempt uh, uh, is basically they do not want health care, period. And so it is unfortunate, but again, this is, I think, a very big mistake the Republican Party has made. And they, they cast this vote against defense appropriations, kind of a holy grail of, of Republican politics, voting for defense funding. They cast it simply to get to delay health care by 12 hours, by maybe 20 hours, not more than that. And now, after these procedural votes... They do intend to vote for the final passage of the defense appropriations bill tomorrow, which I believe, I believe, Chris, counts as voting against it before you voted for it, doesn't it? Uh, that's, that's exactly right. What they're going to try to do is say we actually didn't vote uh, against defense spending. But that's, you see, they're trying to explain a process story. And trying to explain a process story to the American people, that, that is just too complex. And the reality is it is much easier to make the point that they voted against defense spending. And ironically, that is exactly what Republicans would have done had Democrats done this. And so this is the political equivalent of cutting off your nose to spite your face. I do not understand why they chose to go down this road. It is, again, as I said earlier, something that the Democratic Party is going to be able to come back to again and again and again. That they played politics, not just with our, the military and, and the men and women in the armed services, but they played politics with the country's health care issue. And you combine those two together, it creates a terrible political a narrative for the Republican Party. All right, Chris, take your shot at predicting how the next five days go in the United <laughs> States Senate. Uh, do you get a final passage uh, vote in the United States Senate on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? Possible. I mean, this has become so difficult as we've seen because the 60th vote, whoever, you know, that person may be, has an ability to shape what the final legislation is. And, you know, I think what you need almost is, and clearly this is happening, and I think Senator Reid is clearly trying to push this forward and probably saying to them in private, listen, you may have concerns whether you're on the left or you're a more conservative member of, uh, of the Democratic Party, but we can fix this in conference. But I think there's also going to be a need here for President Obama to come out, what, you know, and this, I think, is only possible if we know we're going to have a vote, but to come out and say, you know, here are the good things, and this is why we need to get this vote done. Democratic strategist Chris Kofinas, many thanks. Thanks, Lawrence.